If you want to support the show, you can go to mwpnews.com slash support, where you can pick up my latest book, Succession Planning, and all my other books that have previously been released on Kindle for only two ninety nine each. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to an extra episode of 30 Minute Reviews. I am Adam. So, the reason I'm doing this is because on Sunday, when we do, when I record the regular episode, it's going to be almost entirely CinemaCon content. We're going to talk about everything that came out of CinemaCon this week. The, the issue is, we had something happen yesterday that we've known for a few days now, but we, you know, it came out finally. And I wanted to, you know, give my thoughts on the trailer for Joker Folly uh, Adu. Number one, I think that making this movie is a mistake in general. I think that this movie would have, you know, been better not existing, period. And my rationale for that is Joker, the 2019 movie Joker, works best if you don't know who, or if you don't know how much of the movie actually takes place in reality. Because fundamentally, this is a movie from the perspective of Arthur Fleck, who is an unreliable narrator. Arthur Fleck is not someone who, um, what's it called, who you know, we can trust to tell us the true version of events. And we shouldn't trust. The movie's ending, where he's he's sitting there laughing, and, and the, the the psychiatrist in Arkham says, what are you laughing at? And he says, it's a joke, you wouldn't get it. Puts us in a place where now we don't know how much of the movie happened, how much didn't happen. Did he just kill his mother? Did he just kill those guys on the train and everything else is imagined? Or in the train station, everything else is imagined? Um, what else happened in this movie? What else kind of, you know, made, like, made... What else happened is, is the real question. And we don't know how much of it's real, how much of it's fake. There's nothing in that last scene that gives it away. This movie would probably have to continue that, but at the same time, not. Now, fundamentally, the question that I have is, you know, and, and this is a question that, that Peter, who's on the show occasionally, posited to me, is Harley Quinn real, or is she a, a figment of his imagination? I would argue she's probably real, is what I said to him in, in the text conversation. I, I, I would say she's probably real, because spending $200 million on this movie tells me that they have confidence in it, that they think that this is going to be a franchise going forward, and they will want to make a third. Having her be this thing that's just in his head um, would be weird in that case. It wouldn't quite mesh with what we're expect, like how that would work. Because uh, you can't really make a sequel if Harley Quinn you know, didn't actually exist. Unless you're going to say, all right, she didn't exist, let's move on. But at this point, if you're going to cast Lady Gaga, you want the star power of Lady Gaga for another movie. Um, I think fundamentally the, the issue that I have is, you know, I don't want to know the answer. Because I didn't like Joker. And I think I've said this before. I didn't like Joker. I think that Joaquin has a fine performance in that movie. I think that he robbed Adam Driver of an Oscar. Um, it was Adam Driver's fantastic in Marriage Story, um, and, and I think he was—he should have won that award. But I mean, even so, it was not a strong year for Best Actor. We've talked about this before. It's like when when Jennifer Lawrence won Best Actress in 2013, 2014. It was not a strong year in that category. I think the only competition was. 
Was it Bryce Dallas Howard who was in Zero Dark Thirty or was it Jessica Chastain? It was one of them. Um, that's the only, and, and I don't remember which one it was of the two of them, but one of them was in that category, and uh, that was the only one that I can remember. Uh, but I do concretely remember Adam Driver losing here um, five years ago. The, the issue is, I don't want to know the answer of how much of Joker actually happened. And my other issue is, looking at this trailer, this movie cost more than Dune. I don't see how this movie cost more than Dune. That has not translated to the screen in this trailer. Like, and, and from what we've seen, it looks like this movie could have just cost whatever the first one cost, 60, 70 million. Because again, it's a musical. It would have less set variation because it'd be stuff that's, you know, within Arkham. Like, and and around Arkham. It's not like you're going to be doing too much, you know, stuff. I'm not entirely sure how you could get this movie up to around $200 million. Unless, and, and, and this is the thing, is that we know it's a jukebox musical. Arguably, that's the least cringy way to do this. Um, is to do it with a jukebox musical instead of having entirely original songs. The the issue is it's like all right, so maybe the artists are 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 demanding too much money, not too much money, but they're demanding a lot of money because it's Joker. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, but look, I I'm gonna see the movie. I'm gonna see the movie. Don't worry about that. It's just. This trailer has not inspired me with confidence to be like, okay, this is something that I should look forward to in the back half of 2019, uh, 2024, yeah, 2019. Um, and, and, and the thing is, too, it's like, I also still don't think that, you know, I don't think that Joker works that well as a movie. Um, so to make a sequel of it in this way... I'm not overly confident in this. I'm not overly... And the thing is, too, it's like, this is a massive gamble for Warner Brothers. They're making a musical. Musicals have not done well at the box office recently. West Side Story did not make a lot of money. Um, the Color Purple did not make a lot of money. Uh, mean Girls did not make a lot of money. And, and for us to be like, okay, we're going to keep trying to... Uh, in the Heights, another one, didn't make a lot of money. And, and the thing is... With the exception of Mean Girls, most of these are pretty good. Cats didn't make a lot of money, but Cats sucked in other ways. Like, in in in, in a, lo a lot of these movies, like, were good to great. Like, In the Heights was great. I loved In the Heights. Um, I loved West Side Story. Um, what was the other one that I was like, oh, why aren't they advertising this in the musical? That's weird. Um... Oh, the color purple was great. Like, the the issue is audiences don't show up for musicals. Um, and I think that that's kind of the thing that they that they are dealing with. And I mean, La La Land, I don't think made a lot of money either. And La La Land is one of those movies that's like it's kind of a musical, but not really. Also great. Um, but it's it, it's a gamble to make a musical in this day and age. If it's not, and even if it is a Disney movie, it's still kind of a gamble to make a musical. Um, because Wish didn't make a lot of money back, but Encanto... Well, Encanto was released on Disney Plus relatively quickly after it came out in theaters. But to, to be like, okay, so we're going to double down on Joker. All right, fine. We are going to, you know, we're going to make... We're going to up the budget. This is going to be a $200 million movie. All right. It's going to be a musical. This feels like a bad idea. This feels like we are careening towards a, 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 a crash, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. We just gotta watch in horror as as this this minivan goes off a cliff, and it's like, well, the, the, there's there's a few unforced errors here that you didn't need to do. Like, that's gonna be the big the big thing that's going to you know harm. Is I think people hear musical and they're like, fuck no, I'm not doing that. Um, I like musicals. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. If, you know, if the music is good and the choreography is good, you know, there might be something there. I think narratively, and that's kind of the issue with the first Joker, too, is that the first Joker, like, the one of the strongest, the score is great, 
and the cinematography is fantastic. Um, I didn't, and, and I've said it before, this movie made $800 million. It would not have made $800 million if it was just called Cloud, and it didn't have the DC branding on it, which feels dumb to say, and I've said this before about some movies, where if you remove the branding and just do it as, you know, generic version of that, this would, like, like Joker would be a movie that you see at Walmart in that first section of DVDs that's like, I've never heard of this movie before. How did they get, you know, Bruce Willis for this? How did they get, like, Mel Gibson for this? It's like, do they ever say no to anything? And I know with Bruce Willis is a different situation, but that's the thing where it's like, you, you look at the, what's it called? You look at these situations, and it is, what's it called? It is kind of, you know, it, it, like, this is what this movie would have been if it was just Clown. But it has the DC branding and Warner Brothers marketing behind it, so it, it, it made a lot of money. The issue is, it's not that strong of a movie. It's and and look, I know it won the Golden Lion at Venice. I'm not good for them. Doesn't make it a good movie. Um, because Crash won Best Picture. Like, just as it wins awards, doesn't mean it's good. Um, what else have we got? Um, I don't know. I'm just. I'm not overly thrilled watching this trailer, and, and and the thing is too, it's like, and part of it is I think House of Gucci kind of soured me on Lady Gaga the actress a little bit, um, because it's like, I I, I really didn't like her performance in that movie, <laughs> like her ridiculous over the top Italian accent in that movie was ridiculous. I I. Look, I, I think that this is going to be one, another one where it's great cinematography, and, and let's see how it looks, and, you know, and all of that. And, and people blow in the movie for the fucking... I looked at the comments on YouTube for the, for the fucking posted trailer, and people are like, oh my god, it's a genius thing to put the, the, the lipstick on the, on, the, on the glass, and he smile behind it, and it's like... Is it? <laughs> like... Once you decide you're going to have, like, that's the thing, is that it's like, once you decide you're going to have that scene of the two of them talking through glass, like, once you decide you're going to have that scene, you got to do that. And I think that what this trailer is going to, what this trailer indicates to me is that if you're going to have that, and you're going to have that scene of him and, and Gaga celebrating outside the courthouse, um, what this tells me is that we're going to be dealing with a movie where Joker is exonerated, or, or uh, Arthur is exonerated, released from Arkham, and then is put, you know, and then is goes back in because he misses Harley. And I think the thing is, too, it's like, considering that the first movie was kind of embraced by incels as like the, you know, the, the, you know... And the other thing is, like, as the, you know, this is, you know, this is their manifesto of, as a movie. It, it is kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, but, you know, so the sequel's going to be like, just have sex and, and you'll be good. You'll be uncrazy. Like, in which case I'm like, look, I, I, like, I don't think that's, that's, that's good messaging, but I think it's funny enough where I'm like, you know what, fuck it, let it ride. Um... Because it's like, that'll piss off people who, who love the first one. Which, again, leads to the problem of, will this movie make money back? If if the people who loved it originally are like, um, oh, this is this movie's against us, I don't think Lady Gaga is the box office draw people think it is. Um, because I don't recall um, House of Gucci making a lot of money. I also don't recall A Star is Born making a lot of money. And she led both of those. So I don't think she's quite the box office draw. I think she's, for, for a musician, she's a strong actress. Um, but I don't think she is, you know, quite what we, we act like. You know, I don't think she's fantastic. Um, but yeah, we will wrap up there for today. Um... Like I said, I'm still going to see this movie. I'm not 
inspired with confidence. I'm not particularly interested in, in a lot of what's going on here. Um, I, I'm, I, I'll see it. I'll be hopefully entertained somewhat for the runtime. Hopefully it's not two and a half hours, but this movie is giving the inkling that it will be two and a half hours. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a, a weaker kind of thing out there to, to, to watch. Um, one of the worst, you know, movies. And, and, and look, if you like it, I'm not here to call you stupid for liking whatever bullshit nonsense Warner, uh, Warner Brothers shits out and calls Joker. But, but again, it's like, look, if this was an independent movie... If Joker was an indie movie that was made, and it probably could have been made for about twenty million independent, or probably a lot less. I mean, I, I like I've seen some independent movies where I'm like, God damn, how did that? Like this movie was made for under a million. That is impressive. Like this is a movie that didn't need to be like the original Joker didn't need to be sixty million. They could have done it for less. Number one. Number two. When when they make the original Joker, and had they made it as an independent movie, and had it not been, you know. This is the big DC movie for Warner Brothers. You know, it would not have gotten where it was. Like, that movie would not be... Like, I don't think that movie would have been where it was at Con, if not for Warner Brothers backing. Not Con, uh, Berlin. Or Venice. It was Venice. Because it was uh, August. Um, like, that's kind of the issue I have with the, with this whole thing, is that there are far better movies that get made for far less money that get far less attention. Um, and, and, and this one just gets fucking... Here we are. We'll I'll wrap up there for today. Uh, next week we'll be back with CinemaCon, wrapping up all the big news out of CinemaCon, which so far, Warner Brothers... Uh, not, not much. Warner Bros. is the only one. I mean, Sony did their state of, uh, state of the industry with Crunchyroll, uh, which is funny considering it's Sony, but, um, yeah, Warner Brothers did not exactly come to inspire a ton of confidence, I don't think. We'll talk about that on Friday, though, or on, 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 on Monday when it goes up. But, uh, until then, have a great rest of your week.